What is up guys? We are back with another BIOS video and today we're checking out the BIOS on the brand new Gigabyte X570 Aura's Master Motherboard. Now what Gigabyte has done with the X570 BIOS is they've kind of completely retooled it to make it easier to use and have the right things kind of in front of you, the things that you want to see and just make, you know, things easier to get to as well. So when you first launch into the BIOS, you'll be here in easy mode. And this is gonna pretty much give you everything that you need to kind of, you know, when you first build your system to have all the settings that you need right here. So you don't have to go into the advanced mode, but of course, we're gonna be going into the advanced mode. So the first thing is we have our information up here, the board we're running, the BIOS version, our CPU and our memory here. And then we have live views of our CPU frequency, uh, CPU temperature, CPU voltage in chipset temperature, and then our memory frequency, our system temperature, memory voltage, and VRM temperature. And then here we can see our DRAM status. So this is of course, you know, the memory that we have installed. And if you wanna enable or disable XMP profile, you, you can see it's disabled, click once and it's enabled. It's really that simple. Boot sequence, we only have one drive connected to our system, but if we had more than one, we could easily rearrange them and set our boot sequence. Right here is a live view of the devices you have installed, which is really great to see here. So you can see we have one SATA drive, PCI Express, you can see we have our one uh, graphics card running at X16 speeds. Again, um, this is nice to see as well. And you can see it's running PCI Express 3.0. Um, it's good to see the speeds and everything like that. So if you're having issues or something, or maybe a, a graphics card or drive isn't showing up, you can see it right here. We have no M.2s installed, but if we did, they would show up right here. So this is a great live view. Again, if you're having issues with a drive or maybe you just didn't connect it right or something, um, you'll be able to see if the BIOS you know, picks it up right here. Below that, we have Smart Fan 5, and this is all of our system fans and headers. Um, we only have our CPU fan connected, of course, and uh, we can go ahead and just click. And this brings us into Smart Fan 5. And what this does, this allows you to set custom curves and set different settings to do with all of the fan headers on your board. Um, and you can set different things like temperature warnings and things like that, the control modes. Um, and again, you can select all of the headers on your board, which is nice. You can see all of your values in real time and things like that as well. Go out of that. Over here, we can set up RAID. Um, if you wanna do RAID, this is where you're gonna do it, really easy to set up. And then over here, we have a bunch of shortcuts. So of course, we can change our language. If you need help, it's right here, or you can hit F1. Advanced mode, which we'll show you in a little bit, you can just hit F2 to go into that. Smart Fan 5 is F6, or you can of course just click here. Load Optimize Defaults, this is F F7. And I love to see this in the easy mode. This is not something you typically see in the easy mode. I don't know why we haven't seen it on a ton of other BIOSes, but it's great that it is here. You know, if you made some changes, even in easy mode, that you wanna revert really easily, you can just go ahead and load, load Optimize Defaults. Q Flash, um, this is to flash our BIOS. It's not gonna do anything because we don't have a flash drive installed, but if we did, we would be able to easily uh, flash our BIOS, save and exit, and then favorites. But if we hit F2, that's actually gonna drop us right into our favorites menu in the advanced mode. So favorites is just a list of settings that you can you know, set yourself and create yourself. And this is all of the settings that you would use most, of, most often. So you don't have to dive through maybe two or three menus to get to them. They're all right here. So for us, it's our CPU clock ratio, CPU clock control, XMP, vCore, uh, load line calibration and CSM support. Um, under Tweaker, this is where you're going to go ahead and do all of your overclocking and system tuning. So of course we have our CPU clock control, CPU clock ratio, advanced CPU settings. Again, this is everything to do with your CPU. So you can enable, disable, set things to auto, things like that. Um, XMP, of course, this is where you're gonna set your XMP profile. You just hit it and you can you know, enable, disable. Um, if it has more than one profile, both will be listed here as well. Um, high frequency support, advanced memory settings. This is where you're gonna set your sub timings if you want. So you know you can go ahead and set all this stuff up if you want to, if you're doing manual overclocking on your memory or tightening your timings. And then we have SPT info. Um, this is gonna give you all of your information on the memory that you have installed. So we don't have memory here, but we have memory here. So you can go ahead and see that. 
Um, then you have all of your voltages. So everything, you know, your CPU V core, your SOC V core, all that kind of stuff with your uh, V cores and all of your voltages is right here. And then if you go into CPU slash VRM settings, this is all of your power related settings, PDM, PWM phase control, load line calibrations. It's all right in here. Under settings, uh, this pretty much has to do with everything else. So platform power settings are right here. IO ports, um, you know, we can go ahead and set up legacy USB support. It's all enabled by default, but you can go ahead and do that. You know, set up your SATA configuration. Of course, we can see all of the drives that we do have installed. Um, network stack configuration, and then settings for each individual NIC that we have on here. Um, so you can go ahead and see those as well. And then we go to miscellaneous. Um, this is just a bunch of other different things that you can go ahead and set up and uh, TPM stuff. If we did have a device, we would have more options right here. And AMD CBS and AMD overclocking. These are a, these are AMD specific overclocking settings. You don't need to go into these to overclock your uh, memory or CPU, but these are different settings that you can kind of set and things like that. Now. When we first went into these, there is a, a warning that you have to accept. And if you do change any of these settings and you happen to break your CPU, you do void your warranty by editing these settings. And the reason that you do, see it's here again. Um, if you hit accept, you know, um, you know, you have things like SOC voltage. So if you're bumping up the voltage on your SOC or different things like that, you know, or like manual overclocking and, and things like that. If you do happen to damage your CPU, it won't be covered under warranty. That's something to keep in mind right there. PC health, this is everything that's going on on your system. So you can see all of your voltages and things like that. Smart fan five, again, we were already in there, but you can have access to it in here as well. System info. This is all of the stuff that's going on on your system. So you can see, you know, the motherboard you're using, the BIOS version, all that kind of stuff right there. Um, plug in devices info. Again, this is just that view of everything that's connected. Q flash again won't work because we don't flash drive. Under boot, this is all of your boot options. You can go ahead and set all this stuff up. And this is where you're gonna go ahead and set an administrator user password for the BIOS if you wanna go ahead and set that up. And then under save and exit. So this, uh, of course, is where you save all your settings. Again, my favorite load optimized defaults is in there because I happen to mess things up a lot. So I can just you know start back at the beginning here. Also, we have boot override and I love that. Just for the fact that, you know, I install Windows using a flash drive. What you can do is set your boot priority how you would want it, like, you know, the order of your drives, and then go into, go into the BIOS, click on this, and this will boot to the flash drive first. And then when you restart, you know, Windows restarts after it installs, you don't have to worry about pulling that drive out or anything like that. You, of course, can save your profile and load different profiles as well. You know, and I think this is a really great BIOS. Like, everything is laid out really well. Um, there wasn't anything that I couldn't find. I love the easy mode. I love that they give you more information on the easy mode. I love that load optimized defaults is now in the easy mode. Um, and that everything that I really need to do, whether it's set my boot sequence, set my XMP profile, see what all I have installed, um, maybe mess with the fans a little bit. It's all right here in the easy mode and it's very easy to use. This is a pre-release BIOS. Um, and it works great. There's, it's not sluggish. I haven't found any issues either. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And we will have a link below to our full video on this specific motherboard as well. So definitely check that out. So I will see you guys in the next video.